Well, welcome back to Cabo Park. There's Kerry and here's Steve. Here we are for the BSN.com Junior Power Bikes and it's a big shout out for the Suzuki TL1000. Stuart Bradford is on pole position. Alex Hutchinson also stands a good chance in this race and third on the grid today is Rob Ellesmere and Rob number 42 on that Aprilia in competition 550 is looking hot to trot. Robin, what do you reckon? I reckon we got fantastic action coming up. Number 168 is Stuart Bradford on pole position. He's got Alex Hutchinson and Rob Ellesmere alongside him. Uh, Stuart is the leading super twin on the grid on pole position. Then we've got Lee and Rob, the two leading junior power bikes, tucked in behind them. We've got the leading mini twin, and that's uh, Richard Wilshire. And away they go. So, practically speaking, Steve, three races in one. All of them going to be very competitive. Yes, especially the uh, super twins and the junior power bikes. The junior power bikes have been mixing it with those uh, bigger bikes at the front, and we should be in for quite a race. Yes, of course, the leading mini twin rider in the championship so far, Chris Bolland, uh, can't be with us here at Cabell Park because he's in the RAF and he's off on a tour of duty in Afghanistan at the moment. I think his wife's in the uh, Air Force as well, and she's away, so good luck to them. We welcome them back, I think, after the next couple of meetings, but. Uh, it's a chance to make hay while the sun shines as far as the rest of the mini twinners are concerned. There, Rob Ellsbeer chasing hard after Stuart Bradford, and that's Alex Hutchinson. Alex has binned it there on the exit of the gooseneck. Once again, Steve, good to see him get up and walk away from that. But that bike has been trashed. Yeah, that bike does not look very well at all, and it gives Rob Ellsbeer a great opportunity. He's third at the moment, but obviously leading the junior power bikes. Yeah, uh, tucked in behind him there was uh, Chris Norris, and Chris is going like a train in fourth place. There we see Alex Heaton, uh, number 111. Really good racer. Sometimes doesn't perhaps uh, qualify as well as he should, but uh, once the old uh, lights go out, he's off and running. And there he is through Hall Benz, leading his fast pack in the uh, midfield. But up the front, Stuart Bradford, who's something of a local expert here. Now, you quite often expect really quick bike riders to be built like whippets. I think it's fair to say that uh, Stuart is not quite of the whippet size and shape. No, I wouldn't be picking a fight with him, put it that way, Robin. Uh, well, I would stand behind him if there was a following wind. And uh, there, Alex, uh, yeah, oh, well, Alex, a bit gloomy. Uh, you can't blame him, but at least he walks away and he'll get to race later on. But, uh, yeah, Stuart, for all these big lads, he is a very, very quick racer indeed. And he's disputing at the front now uh, with Brian Greenfield. Brian just nicked by there up into Park Bend. And it is Brian Greenfield, 34, running down from the gooseneck. Stuart Bradford tucked in behind him. And look, Chris Norris, so I said he was on a good run. He's up into third place. Uh, behind him is Rob Ellesmere. Rob, the leading junior power bike. Yep, Steve Tomes there on the Moto 450. He's given that a bash this weekend, so we won't see him in the junior power bikes. A little bit further back there, Sam Coventry's uh, currently second position overall in the junior power bikes. And there's uh, 91 there, Kev Jones, who's a long-time acquaintance of our VT engineer here. There, Brian Greenfield. Now, he carried the camera for our sighting lap of the circuit. There goes uh, Kev Jones. Clinton Dutanowski there currently in sixth place, the young South African who was in junior power bikes this year but has moved up to super twins. But look at this, up the front, the battle is on. I'll tell you what, Steve, Rob Ellesmere in fourth place. He's leading junior power bikes. He's on that gorgeous little uh, 550 Aprilia that he's helping to develop. He's staying with the super twins at the moment. He's doing extremely well, yeah. He's keeping up the pace. They've been develop developing this bike all weekend and it seems to be going extremely well. Yeah, up there we see uh, Alex Heaton chasing hard after Alan Brown. Alex uh, running up the hill into Charlie's, but now back at the front, Brian Greenfield with now Chris Norris up into second. He's just got ahead of Stuart Bradford, but Stuart's a real press-on sort of character. He will not uh, give that position up lightly. Once again, Alex Heaton all over the back of uh, Alan Brown. Can't find a way through as they drop down through the gooseneck into Mansfield. But, uh, oh, and... Dear, dear Stuart, you didn't want to do that. Stuart Bradford unloads, gets off at the S's, uh, switches. Off. Oh my goodness me, Tony Rand. And uh, well, Tony, who was on pole at Mallory Park for the junior power bikes, bins it there, and that brings out the red flags. Rob Ellesmere takes the junior power bike win from Sam Coventry and Alex Heat from Alan Brown and Richie McCartney. And there we see a very happy Rob giving the Aprilia. Yes, it's first win. 
He's a happy chappy. And Brian Greenfield took the Super Doom win from the very fast Chris Norris. Kevin Jones finished in third ahead of Clinton Tadowski and Scott Adam. And there they are. Looks a little unfair size-wise, but uh, 